where we're talking about those round four matchups. Let's revisit what unfolded in the third round with Joe Tapel and Strider Wozolewski. Thank you very much, Ronnie and Ross. What an exciting round this has been. It's almost hard to pick out some of the key heats to tell the story today, but main break coming to life. Stiff offshore winds, and then everything's cleaned up. The ripping's been through the roof, and we're so excited to go back through some of the big moments as we have round four heats starting to stack up. Joe Tapel alongside the Waz, Strider Wozolewski. You've been everywhere in the water and on the beach. How's your Sunday going? It's pretty good, Rover. Red Rover all over. It's been fun out there. These guys having fun. Look at these waves. Are you kidding me? Bang! An emotional heat for a lot of us here in West Oz because Taj Bro was knocked out. But Nat Young deserved the win. His backhand looked sharp. What was the secret for Nat taking this one down? I think just staying uh, in his own game, looking really strong, and, and that win was really hard to deal with. But on the backhand, I feel like they kind of had the upper hand because they could throw it vertical and whip it back down. And he did it really fast. Watch his turns. Look how fast he gets his board back down the face. So that doesn't leave any room for anything to happen in there. He gets it down so fast and so quick that the wind can't affect his board. We started to get nervous when Nat got a quick start for Taj fans. His Taj sometimes struggles coming from behind after a heavy blow. Nat had a couple of solid nines to his name. And then the story that has everyone just guessing what is behind the momentum from Leo Fioravanti taking out a world champ again in Adriano De Souza. You know, De Souza and Leo started this heat with a weird, like, paddle battle. There was just no room to be given. Everybody wanted it. Uh, you know, and Leo just, you know, kind of gave it to him. Gave him ended up giving him a wave, but Leo just st stayed strong throughout the heat. He stayed consistent. He knew what he had to do to win. He needed to be on the bigger, better waves, and he was. I didn't, you know, you can't take it away from De Souza though. He really put it to him, gave him a, the highest score of the heat, and uh, you know, looked really good. Kings heat getting better for the Italian superstar Leo Fioravanti, and then the best performance of Jordy Smith this season. The best performance of the round as he took out Kanoe Garashi. Yeah, look at these turns throwing up. Drop wallets, carves, just bashing away, floaters coming down, sticking it. That's what you got to do out there. You got to make it. Seeing that big form from Kanoe Garashi, he wanted to answer back. He's put up decent numbers, but Jordy kept heating up, started with nines, finished with better nines, and it was all about Jordy's story. Potts went on to say, Jordy's going to win the contest. You agree? I, I think he's got a good chance surfing like this, big frame, solid surfing. And finding waves like that, are you kidding? It looked like a playground out there for him, just bashing away, getting tubes, finishing with slams right on the bricks. Hats off, Jordy. Nice work. Looks comfortable. Then a huge heat. Florence, a former event champ, one of the best surfers in the world, takes on Kyle Abelli again. He did some errors. John John controlled the lead until the final exchange. Kyle undefeated against Florence this year. Wow, that's a big statement right there. Kyle undefeated against Florence. Florence is so upset right now. He's just rummaging around in that locker room for sure. But hey, Kyle getting some nice waves right here. That, was that first turn, not what you wanted to see, but there it was, the power gouge, the turn down into the pocket. Beautiful thing right there. And then, you know, John John said, okay, I'm gonna go to work. Doing some trickery of his own in the wind. So hard to do that kind of surfing. Little layback snap right there. And comes around to the inside to try and finish up. You know, as he's right in front of Kyle right here, kicking out to get back out. But then the last wave of the heat, Joe, this wave right here, boom, grabs, let's go, rotates, kind of has to come back into it. Wasn't as smooth as I thought. It should have been for the score. The judges gave him the score. 8-5, takes it home, and the win undefeated against John John this year. Incredible performance from Kyle. He's been tested against all sorts of surfers this year when he doesn't have the lead, and every time he comes through with something more for the world's best, and this time it's John John Florence again, knocked out early from a contest where you expected him to win. How did you react to that result? Or are you going to save it for the post show? I'm going to save it. I got some <laughs> words for you guys. So make sure you stick oh around for the goodness. post show. It's going to get hot. The debate uh -oh. show. It's more turning like at this stage. <laughs> Obviously, honorable mention, Seabass Flores, another big post show topic as we send it back to Ronnie and Ross for the call.